Hey Lash Lovers, my name is Asako and welcome to our Divine Lash Recipe blog. On this channel, we're here to answer popular questions regarding eyelash extensions and lash lifts. So if you're interested or addicted to lash enhancements, I would definitely recommend for you to click that subscribe button because we're planning to upload more videos like this one. If you don't know me yet, my name is Asako and I'm the co-founder at Divine Lashes. I've been introduced to eyelash extensions since 2011 and I have been in love ever since. At our salons, we strive to enhance our clients' natural beauty by using eyelash extensions and lash lips while maintaining their natural lash health. Our goal is to highlight your unique beauty. So you finally decided to get eyelash extensions, but you can't help but wonder, do eyelash extensions damage my natural lashes? Today, I'm going to be revealing three frequent mistakes that can damage your natural lashes. So let's dive into today's topic. Just to make things clear, Eyelash extensions do not cause any damage to the natural lashes. As long as they're applied properly, the extension that's chosen for the client should be the appropriate length and thickness and applied to one natural lash. Hopefully your lash artist is skilled enough to select the correct thickness and length based on where your natural lashes are at on their growth cycle. And what is a growth cycle? Just like our hairs, our eyelashes are constantly growing and shedding. The complete cycle of our eyelashes are approximately 90 days based on the genetics of the individual. As long as the growth cycle is respected, your natural lashes will not be damaged. And this is a fundamental concept that all eyelash artists should master. So now let's talk about how eyelash extensions can damage your natural lashes. The three most frequent mistakes that can cause damage to natural lashes are the extensions are too heavy for the natural lash, stickies, and nail heads. Selecting the appropriate length and thickness for the client's natural lashes is one of the key concepts to maintain healthy lashes. For instance, if the extension is too heavy for the natural lashes to support, it could cause premature shedding, which will lead to thinning of the lash line over time. And let's take a look at some examples. Here's a client with extensions, which are almost double in length and thickness of her natural lashes. This type of application is very damaging since the extension is way too heavy for the natural lashes to support. Now let's talk about stickies. Stickies is when two or more natural lashes or extensions are attached together. This is a very common issue among less experienced lash artists. And here's what happens when you have stickies. There are a cluster of lashes and extensions glued together. This definitely does not look pretty. It would also cause irritation and itchiness for the client. And let me explain why. If the natural lash in this cluster is still in the growing phase, it's going to continue to grow and pull out the other lashes glued to it. It can eventually pull out those lashes too. Secondly, if one of these natural lashes completes the growth cycle and sheds, it will not be able to fall out completely since it's attached to the group. This adds additional weight to the other lashes, which can lead to premature shedding. Pulling out the natural lashes prematurely can damage the hair follicle. And if this is done many times over, the client can experience permanent damage. And now let's talk about nail heads. A nail head is created when the extension is glued to the skin directly. And this should never happen. In this picture, you can see the glue formed a disc shape on the client. Do you notice the glue is now lifted and doesn't touch the skin anymore? That's because the natural lashes have grown since the application and pulled the glue off the skin. And this type of application is very damaging since it would pluck out the baby eyelashes in its early stages. Moreover, it's hard for the new lashes to grow since the hair follicle is clogged. A nail head can also cause irritation to the skin called dermatitis. This type of application can also cause irritation, itchiness, and discomfort for the client. So if you've unfortunately gone to an lash artist who committed one of these three common mistakes, it could cause damage to your natural lashes. So just like our hairs on our body, your eyelashes should grow back on its own. And this should take anywhere from six to eight weeks. And I might even suggest using a serum to help you recover faster. And by wearing eyelash extensions, it's not going to make your eyelashes fall out faster than normal. If you ever notice any of your lashes falling out, you should see the natural lashes attached to the extension. When you lose your extensions this way, the natural lashes are simply following its natural growth cycle. So if you're wearing eyelash extensions frequently, at your refill appointment, your lash artist should be able to assess the health of your natural lashes. This video really looked at the ugly side of eyelash extensions. But remember, eyelash extensions do not damage the natural lashes as long as they are applied properly. 
I just can't stress this enough. Eyelash extensions is a great way to enhance your natural beauty. They can make your natural lashes a little bit longer, thicker, and definitely darker. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something about how eyelash extensions can damage your natural lashes. And if you had any bad experiences or if you have any questions, please let me know because I would love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.